everyone welcome back to my channel so for those who are watching my latest videos you may have noticed that I have been talking about herbs so today we are still gonna be talking about herbs uh, for today's video we are going to talk about plant companion and some of the plants herbs can be a good companion so we are be gonna be talking about herbs and other plants as companion plants I have learned that not all plants can be planted together like as human beings we also choose our partners partners that we can grow together and partners that we can get along well so in this video we are going to talk about some plants and their companion plants Mixing vegetables and herbs with flowers can increase garden yields and flower production. The flowers increase nectar production, attracting more beneficial insects that protect edible plants and pollinators that increase flower production. Companion planting also helps. Companion planting isn't an exact science. Some combinations work better than others. Factors such as weather and regional differences can impact effectiveness. Understanding how plants, insects, and organisms work together can reduce or eliminate the need for inorganic remedies, increase your gardening success, and influence your choices. For example, one plant may deter garden pests that harm other species, while in return, that other species might enhance soil nutrients. Vegetables in particular see better yields, flavor, and pest disease resistance when sited next to good neighbors. But conversely, certain combinations can result in poor performance also. Examples of companion plants is the lavender. In the garden, edging cabbage and cauliflower patches with lavender is one way to repel harmful insects like moths. Plant near fruit trees also to attract pollinators but also repel cuddling moth on apple trees. Okay. Uh, for herbal, herbal bodies, basil and oregano are popular companions for lavender. Herbs as companion plants. Practiced by organic gardeners for years, companion planting has become very popular for all gardeners. The concept is to plant together species that will benefit each other. To help prevent disease and insects infestation without the use of chemicals. In general, herbs and other aromatic plants like tomatoes, marigolds, and onions are helpful in warding off insects. Certain colors like the orange of nasturtium flowers are thought to repel flying insects. While these practices have been not scientifically proven, many gardeners have been using them for years with positive results. Try it and see if it works for you. Best Companion Plant Herbs The exact herbs you choose to pair with other plants will depend 
on what you want to grow and what problems you want to eradicate. For example, basil enhances the growth of tomatoes and peppers, dislikes roux, repels flies and mosquitoes. Chamomile companion cabbages and onions improves the growth of all garden plants. Dill improves the growth of lettuce, cabbage, and onions. Dislikes carrots. It dislikes carrots. Good lemon tree companion plant include blue false indigo, Many different types of culinary herbs, marigold and sweet alyssum. Grape companions. Grapes do very well when planted with hyssop, basil, beans, geraniums, oregano, clover, peas, and blackberries. Clover increases the fertility of the soil for grapes. Companion planting strawberries and borage. The herb borage is known primarily as a culinary herb, but it has other benefits as a companion plant when planted with strawberry plants. Borage is widely accepted as one of the best companion plants for its observed effects within a garden and it has a specific affinity when planted alongside strawberry plants. Herb companion plants for bush beans. Try this companion planting idea intended to protect beans from pests. Plant bush beans after spring. Radishes, cilantro, or arugula with a few of the bolting plants left behind. Radish, cilantro, and arugula flowers attract beneficial insects and can help to confuse pests in search of beans. You can also interplant bush beans with onions to deter pests from both crops. Oregano and eggplant are good companion plants. Eggplant can be grown with a variety of different herbs. Herbs are known for their strong aromatic scents and can help repel pests naturally or attract pollinators to the plot. Herbs that can be planted with eggplant include basil, dill, and celery. These are all good eggplant companion herbs. For the cucumber Herbal companion or herb companion, oregano is a herb with a well established reputation for repelling insect pests and is another good companion for cucumbers. Also, dill. Dill attracts beneficial predatory insects to the garden and it also gets rid of the pest. So for the zucchini, borage attracts bees which you will need to pollinate the zucchini. Mint also deters aphids. Garlic repels aphids. Parsley also deter pests from zucchini. Nasturtiums repel pests. 
So these are only herbal plants but there are other plants that are also good for zucchini campaign. So friends, these examples that I have in this video are the plants that I usually plant in my garden. And the companion plants that I have researched are only herbal plants. Since my, tap my topic is about herbal plants, for more information about companion planting, just research the companion plant for a certain plant that you are going to plant. That's it for today my friends. We have learned today what are other plants. Herbs can be a good companion plant. Next time we are going to talk more about its uses as a companion plant. So hope you have enjoyed watching the video and hope to see you on my next video. Bye for now and have a good one everyone.